hi everyone how are you today we are going to discuss about another question here the question which of the muscles listed below is attached to the anterior aspect of fibrous capsule that encloses the elbow joint here we can see which of the muscles listed below is attached to the anterior aspect of fibrous capsule that encloses the elbow joint so we have to find out a muscle who is attached to the anterior aspect of the elbow joint and who is encloses the elbow joint by a fibrous capsule so the muscle will be find out here the options the options are pronator teres biceps brachii brachialis triceps and extensor carpi radial is longus so we have to find out which of the following muscle is lies anterior respect of the anti uh, elbow joint and it attaches with the fibrous capsule of the elbow joint so first of all we have to know what are the muscles which lies in the anterior respect of the elbow joint then we can see for it which muscle attaches to the fibrous capsule so here we can see muscles of the arm or muscles of the front of the arm these are the coracobrachialis, biceps brachii, and brachialis. Coracobrachialis it starts from the coracoid process and inserted into the humerus. So coracobrachialis it uh, doesn't reaches up to the elbow joint. So this muscle will not be answered. Then biceps brachii and brachialis. They are the anterior arm muscle, which reach up to the elbow joint. So our answer will be within these two muscles. So biceps brachii they arises uh, from coracoid process, short head and uh, supraglenoid uh, area in long head. Then brachialis it arises from anterior humerus. Here we can see the pictures. This is the biceps brachii. This is short head of biceps brachii arises from the coracoid process, and the long head of biceps brachii, which arises from the supraglenoid space. And we can see here the coracobrachialis arises from the coracoid process and ends in the uh, humerus. Then we can see another muscle here. So this is brachialis muscle, which arises from the middle part of anterior surface of the humerus and insert it into the tuberosity of the ulna on the other hand biceps brachii it insert it into radial tuberosity here we can see back of the arm which is not important uh, for this question so I skip the uh, area in this picture we can see here and these groups of the muscles here we can see biceps brachii muscle here this biceps brachii short head long head and it descend down down up to the radius and insert it into the radial tuberosity on the other hand we can see here is the brachialis muscle the brachialis muscle arises from the shaft of the humerus and it insert it into the tuberosity of the ulna here we can see brachialis it arises from the humerus and it is the most deep structure in the anterior surface of the humerus so it descends down and inserted very close to the elbow joint and with some fibers of the elbow joint or joint ligament here we can see the brachialis muscle it arises from the humerus and it is attached to the humerus and it finally reaches and inserted into ulnar tuberosity and some fibers which in the inserted into joint capsule on the other hand uh, if we see the biceps brachii muscle which uh, arises from above the descent down just above part of the brachialis and finally inserted into the radial tuberosity so finally we can see brachialis muscle is it is the most deep structure deep muscle in the anterior surface of the humerus and elbow joint and uh, some of fibers uh, inserted into the joint ligament of the elbow joint 
here the another picture we can see here here is the brachialis muscle it arises from the humerus and inserted into the ala tuberosity and it is the most deep structure in the elbow joint also and some of the fiber inserted into the elbow joint from this picture we can see on the other hand brachioradialis uh, this muscle uh, arises from the humerus and uh, it descends down in the lateral part of the elbow joint not through the elbow joint and finally ended into the terminal parts of the radius so here we can see the brachialis inserts some of its fibers into the fibrous capsule of the elbow joint so our final answer is brachialis muscle and thus this brachialis muscle attached to the anterior aspect of the fibrous capsule then the fibrous capsule encloses the elbow joint so our final answer is brachialis muscle thank you all